Welcome to Health Research Report, 15th of February 2013. Another one in brief. This article we look at, Yale study links common chemicals to osteoarthritis. Which chemical are we talking about? Well, often found in cookware, carpeting, you name it, just about anywhere. Water-resistant fabrics, grease-proof paper, food containers, personal care products, and other items. We're talking about fluorocarbons, perfluorinated chemicals especially. The same thing that's used in non-stick cookware. Well, these fluorocarbons, printed, obviously, in the Environmental Health Perspective Journal, or published, I should say, are very easily absorbed into the body. The same type of things you're not supposed to have birds around because obviously if you use this type of cookware can kill them, but somehow we thought it's, you know, we're, we're immune to whatever it is. It's a bird, it dies from fluorine, whatever, poisoning, we're okay. We'll even throw in a little uh, fluorine of fluorocarbons into our water, protect against teeth. Well, uh oh. This is what happened. Again, in the environmental health perspectives, they looked at the blood levels of these perfluorinated chemicals. I keep going looking because it's tough to pronounce. And they discovered this. Those individuals in a test called the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey from 2003-2008, those with at least the highest level of perfluorinated uh, PF PFOA levels were 25% more likely to have osteoarthritis as opposed to the lowest levels. So this drew a direct connection and about two times the odds of having os osteoarthritis compared to those of the 25% exposure. So, something them to look at. What is a natural antidote against fluorine or fluoride to begin with? Calcium. So you know it's going to bind somewhere along the lines to fluoride or fluorine. But what else does it do? These perfluorated chemicals? Let's see. I'm going to pull up the little monitor here real fast and just give you a quick read through. And I have a look at a few things just recently besides osteoarthritis. It's links to cholesterol level in children and teens, thyroid disease in adults, uh, reduction of fertility, and a cardiovascular disease on top of that. Uh, contributes to obesity when it, uh, infants or infants to be are exposed in the womb. And of course, it's found in office air and workers' blood and does a whole other slew of things t to begin with. So, when looking at your perfluorinated chemicals when buying something, I think really right now it's time, if you possible, to try to avoid them. If you don't, you know, you're taking a risk. Well, if you deem them worth it, that's fine. You want some non-stick cookware? Don't mind a little bit of osteoarthritis, heart disease, obesity, thyroid issues, whatever it is. That's your prerogative. But just something to think about. As long as you know before you buy it, it's all that matters to me. The risk is end up in your hands. Well, thank you for this short report.